This program is brought to you by UCKG. The worst moment of my life, I'll probably say, is when I broke up with my girlfriend. In that space of time, it was like everything around me came crashing down. I broke up with my girlfriend, I failed my exams, so I had to go back and retake another year of doing the same subject. Basically, I was in complete debt to something that wasn't my fault. So with that, it created all of it, it started to build, build like a kind of like heaviness on top of my shoulders. Because every day I'll be leaving my house and I'll be thinking I've got debts, I'm single, and I've now failed my final, another exam again. I failed my course initially. So as I was walking around, I met one of the members who was attending the church at the time. The way the guy was projecting himself, it was something that I've never experienced before. The services backed me up, but it was what he was saying as well, that it officially backed me up to make me feel more encouraged to carry on. And when I started to see his example, I reapplied for a course that I failed. Um, the funny thing is I passed the course with flying colours. I was one of the top ones in the class. And then through it, I started to apply myself to do different things because he kept telling me I could achieve it. It got to that point of those, those words that were said to me from that time, it's feeding me and it still feeds me to this day. And now I, all I've got in my mind is sky's the limit. has helped me to be who I am today. By faith, I was taking actions, but actually believing in them, which was something that I couldn't do before because I was a very doubtful person. My life at the moment is really good. I currently got blessed in a new job, so I'm working in legal finance. I'm at university studying law and I've been doing really well. I've made so many new friendships. My family is blessed. I'm getting along with a lot more family members and doors are opening for them as well. And I'm at peace with myself. I have a lot of happiness, moments where I can just enjoy myself and my own personal time. So I'm very grateful. It's been about five months since I've generally seen a transformation in my life. Even though I went to the church for many, many, many years, there wasn't really any steps that I took until in the recent year. So for the past five to six months, this is when my life has really been moving forward. The reason why I'm speaking about this is because the things that I faced in the past caused me to get to such a dark place where I never had any self-value, any self-worth. I didn't believe in myself. And I say that because I grew up in a house of domestic violence. So I saw my mom being attacked by my dad and that really caused me to not understand what it is to love yourself and what it is to stand up for yourself. So I didn't think that I was normal. I didn't think that I was beautiful. I didn't understand myself because I had so much anger. I was fighting people. I was arguing almost every day. I was trying anything that the world could offer, whether it was smoking, whether it was other drugs, whether it was relationships, toxic friendships. The only reason why I didn't go to the full extent of taking my life is because I grew up in a Christian background. So I knew if I did take my life, I would go to hell. But at the end of the day, I wasn't happy. Even though people around me, my mom, my sister, they would try to motivate me. They would try to make me see that it was, there was a better way for me. It didn't help because I didn't believe it for myself. And that's how I came to the church. I found out about the Universal Church through evangelism. A bunch of youths came up to me and they were really excited and talking about the place. So I wanted to see it for myself because I saw that it was different from what I knew. And when I came to the church, I actually saw a life that I never expected could even exist. I was reading the word of God. I was coming to services, all the services that I needed to learn more how to actually use my faith in practice and not just focus on the outside. I was learning how to read the Bible in faith and actually understand and apply it to my life and that's when I actually started seeing results. I made a decision to take it seriously as well, to sort myself out on the inside and all the traumas and the problems that I had on the inside and I was reading the Bible to use faith. That's when I started seeing results in my life. The Universal Church for me is a family, is a place where I can come and I can be myself. It's a place where I can come and I can find out about how to better myself and how to remain from the transformation that I've had here. So I'll always be grateful for the Universal Church. Now I can have my own experience with God and share it with others instead of before not understanding God, not knowing Him and not having anything to give. But now because God gave to me, I can give to others. God loves 
loves me, I have to love myself. God sees worth in me, so I have to have worth in myself. I see myself as someone who is strong and deserving to pick up and fight my battles, even if it seems difficult to do so. Now I have the strength to conquer my mind, to conquer any problems that come, because problems will still come to everyone because it's life. But now I have the strength to understand that these things are temporary and you can continue to press through them. So I say through faith, through strength, I've conquered my mind, I've conquered external things, for example, my finances, that I took a very long time to actually overcome and other issues such as knowing what's best for me and things like that. I have no regrets of coming to the Universal Church because the Universal Church saves lives, it works non-stop to help people and is a work that I'll always be proud to be a part of. So I'm 100% grateful for the Universal Church and I hope that we continue doing the things that we do. A very good evening to everyone. You have been seeing already testimonies of people that their lives have been restored. We're going to see more. But I'm just here right now to tell you that the same way that the lives of these people change, your life can change as well. Every Sunday, we have this powerful service here at the Universal Church. This, this, this service of the empowerment. You know that the empowerment starts from deep inside of you. The Lord Jesus said one day, come to me as you are. I want to ask you a question. How you are? Are you sad? Are you depressed? Are you alone? Jesus said, come to me as you are. If you want, God accepts you. You just need to stand up from wherever you are and come. Like these people that you saw the testimonies. They were suffering. One day they heard about this faith. They heard about that God was the solution of their problems. And they decide to come. They decide to give the step of faith. And their lives were totally transformed. The same way that happened with these people can happen in yours. Sunday now, I'll be waiting for you here in this empowerment service where you're going to be receiving, you know, the seven prayers. We pray for uh, the health with the water. We pray for the family, for the love life. We pray for the impossible problems. And we have also the most important part that is the Word of God, because the Word of God is what sets you free, and the most important prayer that is the prayer of the Holy Spirit, of the healing of your soul. If you want, we'll be here waiting for you. Grab your opportunity. 11 o'clock in the morning, here in Stockholm, uh, our main service is 11. We have also at 6 p.m., but our main service is 11 o'clock. Our address is Birger Jasgotten. 106, we are very close to the Tunnelbana Techniska, Holmskolen, also not far away from Odenplan, and you are our guest to join us. If you are watching me in Jotaburg, the same prayer is going to be taking in Jotaburg tomorrow, Saturday, in our new address in Jotaburg. And you can see here below your screen the new address. At 11 o'clock in the morning, you are our guest to join us. Also, we have in Malmo, we're going to have on the 13th of May. And you can visit our website for more information, www.uckg.sc. You know, the, the God doesn't work with magic. God is not like magic. You come and your life changes. No, God acts when you react. That's why if you are there, desperate and crying and down, it's time for you to react. React in the positive way of standing up and say, I'm going to come to God and my life will change. I'll be waiting for you. If you want to call us, if you want to text us, here in this program or out of this program, we have our helpline bef uh, available 24 hours. Our number will going to be in display below your screen. Let's continue seeing more testimonies, and we'll be back with your program Tuesday, but I'll see you here at the Universal Church. Take care. I came from an alcoholic family. From my fourth birthday, I was given alcohol to drink, and I got drunk. Every member of my family drank, so it was there from birth. My life before coming to the church was a very destroyed life. It happened when I got married. Everything was fine, and when I got married, that's when things started to be very, very difficult for me. As I got older, 
um, I didn't drink so much, but then I got married to an alcoholic. I started to suffer from depression, and I couldn't sleep, and I have problem conceive, to conceive, and there was a very, very hard moment for me. I was trying to keep up with him, drinking with him, going to the pub with him, and trying to stay sober while drunk. That's strange, but, but that's how it was. I start coming Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And from that point, God start delivering me. He delivered me from depressions and uh, healed me. And, and I participate in other campaigns, like uh, before I go have the children, I had to participate in a campaign and God, from that campaign, God blessed me to be pregnant. I have a family today. My life started going wrong after my uh, marriage broke up and the drinking got worse because I started having spiritual attacks. So um, I had to drink to forget, I had to drink to overcome the attacks I was getting and even then um, nothing worked. For so many years I was in the church. I keep on coming Sundays and ever be believing that I will receive the Holy Spirit, but I never sacrifice for the Holy Spirit. Then I heard about this, the 21 days fasting. I say from this one, I have to participate into this campaign because I want to know about the love of God for me. So I was invited by one of my sons to come to a church. And when I came to this church, I was taught how to use my faith. I was uh, given advice what to do. I took the advice and I used them to the best of my advantage. I decided to participate in a 21 day fasting and it wasn't easy because I sacrificed physical, financial, and spiritual. And I found that my life was getting better and better because I was being prayed for. I was praying, I was taught how to pray, and my life, bit by bit, started getting better, week after week, month after month. In the, those 21 days, I set my mind not to think about anything else, not to worry about what was going on in my life, just to focus on the Holy Spirit. And all the problems I came with just disappeared, but the one that was really, really hard for me to do was to give up drinking, and I had to fight. From that point on, I start to be more confident and start to spend more time with the Word of God and see how to know how He loves me and then everything and start to happen like that inside of me. God start to put this confidence in me and from when the 21 day first finished, I was totally different. I am free from alcohol. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't even want to smell alcohol. It makes me feel a bit crazy. There was no fear in me. I knew for myself until today that God loves me. And now I've got control of my life and I do what I need to do to get my life better. My life has totally changed. My faith has changed. And I know that the Jesus is real and the Holy Spirit is real. This program is brought to you by UCKG.